Hi all, um, it's me Angela. I am going to do a uh, geo, which I said I wasn't going to do any and I was going to give myself a break. But I decided I do want to do this one. So I'm going to show you more or less where I'm up, where, where I am at. I also wanted to show you the, uh, the, I, I think I show you this one. This is the colster that's done. It looks so pretty. Look at it. Gorgeous. Yeah. This one is a purple one. It was the black one. I've turned it all purple. Just a big old purple glitter. And then this is the black one. Black and white. And it became... It has a little glitter on top. I don't like that. The pink ones... They all came out the same, and the, the glitter in the bottom spread somewhere towards the top on some of them. So, that's the way it turned out. So, now I know. I just have to keep the glitter away from everything, because guess what? Right now, I started this, uh, this geo, and it has little pieces of purple glitter in it already, just because I put those here on the table. So I know for now when I have to move everything out the way before I bring that here. Anyway, I'm going to put my hair up because I don't want any resin in my hair. So we could start doing the, the rest of this geo. It's going to be, I'm going to name it my, uh, I'm going to name it my, um, sorry, I'm blind. I'm going to name it my, my pink, my, my pink geo. What other name should I call it? What other name? I usually give all my paints a name, but I'm not sure which name to give this one. But anyway, I'm going to bring you down. So, And uh, I think I'm going to turn off that light because the light from the, from the ring ends up in the picture. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. I think that's better. Let me see. Yeah. Maybe like something like that, right? What do you think, guys? I think it looks better like that. Anyway, I did the surface of this last night with a shimmer white. You can see it's kind of shimmery. And then I put all these rocks here. And I put some pink ones down here. Let me see if I can move you back so you can see the bottom. You see that pink? Oh, my phone almost fell. Imagine if it falls in there. Okay. <laughs> well, if it fell in there, nothing's going to happen to my phone because this, it's... Uh, Everything is dry. This is all from last night that I did all this. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so these are pink. These are pink stones that I bored. And I just got them on Amazon. They're very nice and cheap. They don't cost that much money. I'm going to put on my gloves so I can start making some lines for this geo. See, this is the only reason I don't like to do geos online because they really do. Let me stop this thing from oscillating, the fan from oscillating because it may knock my paint to the side or something when I'm pouring it. So, uh, yeah, the only reason I don't do the geos online is because I like to take my time with it, I don't like to rush. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put the first line. It's going to be this line. You can do whatever you want. Zigzag. You know. Whatever kind of lines you want on your geo. That's the line. So what I'm going to do is leave that there overnight. And just let it dry like that. That's what I like to do. This is why I like to work on my stuff slowly. I also put paste here in the corner. I'm waiting for that molding paste to dry so I could put on that, on that molding paste. I'm going to put gold, metallic gold. So this is a burgundy. Well, this is the maroon. Maroon color from Lares. I love it. It's such a pretty, uh, beautiful color. So I'm going to put it a little bit far away from those stones because I don't want the stones getting hit by it. And changing so all right I'm happy right now for this I'm gonna leave it alone and um, gonna give you a close-up and that's about it okay 
I'm not going to finish the whole thing right now because like I said, I don't like my colors. They all collide, collide with one another. That's why I take longer to finish these gels because I don't like my colors kind of colliding. You see right here is already colliding. Long as that doesn't come here and this doesn't go over there. So, And I'm just going to throw a little bit of resin over these rocks to keep them in place. Sorry, I don't have a stick. This is my stick for today. My my tools for doing my art. <laughs> yeah. Because I placed these rocks here today. And I just want them to stay in place. So I usually put resin on top of them. It makes it so much shinier. And it helps that way to keep it nice, beautiful, and shiny. there more over here and uh there's a ball spot here i see wait let me oh they all rock they already all hard they there they stuck already see that's because last night i did put a little bit of resin over it so i like my uh geos to be all types of different shapes so you never know it's nice to have different shapes. I have a lot of that left over. I'm going to use it for the other geo. My other big geo, I'm still really working on it because I want to even out some of the areas in that geo. Some of the areas are not so deep. So that's what I do. I usually don't really finish a geo when I say I'm finished. I usually go back and change certain things. I want to put a few of these right here. Yeah, right there. And, uh, yeah, I see like a little ball spot there. Okay. And then, maybe we could throw a little rhinestone. A little rhinestone around this edge here. On these edges. Let me take off my gloves because I don't want my gloves getting in the paint. A little rhinestone makes it look nice and shiny. See, guys, that's the way it goes with Angelina Bambolina. That's what my mother used to call me. I don't know why my brother in law gave me that name. I found out that it means a, a, a puppet on a string. <laughs> Meanwhile, my brother in law was calling me that for so many years, and he wasn't Italian, so he didn't know what it meant. An Italian doctor was the one that told me. You know, you're being called a, a puppet on a string. I said, that's probably what I was to my family. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Angie, do this. Angie, do that. Angie, do this. Angie, do that. I'm one of the oldest, so I had a lot of Angie, do this and the Angie, do that. But that's okay. I love my sisters. I would give the world for my sisters. Uh, they're my best friend in the world, my sisters. Apollonia. Rose and Marita, Teresa and Gloria. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Let that dry overnight. See what happens with it. And we'll stay tuned, okay guys? I love you all to pieces. I want to show you a close-up of it so you can see uh, how it looks. Wait a minute. Alright. Okay. You see that's where I put the uh that's where i put the molding paste i'm waiting for that to dry so that i can um put gold over there look at this this is a burgundy line i just put in there like a not really maroon but it's like a burgundy but you see the you see the base i made it like a nice shimmery color you see the shimmer and that white such a beautiful shimmer right and then that's the rest of the pink look at it it's so pretty i like delicate colors like this these are my kind of colors delicate 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 geos are so nice let me get the light out the way because i see the light in the paint let me just turn it off i'm sorry so you can see it really good okay here we go i'm sorry there you go you see it? All right. Uh, yeah. 
much better, right guys? Now you can really see it. Oh, geez, I almost dropped the whole thing. Anyway, this is it guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And stay tuned. We'll do the next layers, which is not much. I mean, this is almost like, you could say it's almost finished. I'm going to put a few more layers and...